Hello my crochet friends, here we are again. We're starting a new project today. This is going to be a bike basket. My bike is about this color and I thought this would be cute. I'm using a variegated yarn. You pick a color that you'd like to make this project fun. And we're gonna start with a four millimeter um, G crochet hook. You should only need the one yarn, so this should not be taxing. Um, we are gonna need a yarn needle, a pair of scissors, and two buttons for this project. So let's get ourselves started. We are going to start with the magic ring. So you're going to yarn over, cross, and yarn over. And then we're gonna go underneath the first one, grab, twist. If you need the slower tutorial, it is on the channel. Let's do a one chain there. Okay, this is our magic circle. Inside our magic circle, we need six single crochets. So enter your circle, yarn over and pull through. Here's one. Enter my circle. All right, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so there's my six single crochets inside the magic circle, and we're gonna pull this. It, the pattern doesn't say to join, so we're just gonna keep going in the round. I am going to use a marker for myself. You do what you'd like. If you wanna just count out your stitches, that's fine. I just find the marker a little bit easier for me. And so now we have six stitches here, and the round two says we're going to, and it was a little confusing to me at first, so I'm gonna really walk you through this one. Um, for just this one, it's fairly easy. It's two single crochets in each stitch and then go around. So we're gonna end up with 12 stitches by the time we're done. But as it goes along, this project increases and it was a little odd, the writing of it. So I'm going to write it differently to help you understand. Um, but we will get to that. So right now we're putting two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. So we're gonna have 12 working stitches by the time we're done here. Okay. Okay, count your stitches. One, two, three, four. 12, 12, 12 for me. I'm going to move my marker. Okay, and then we're going to move to round three. Round three says we are going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets in the next stitch. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. So we're going to do one single crochet here and then the next stitch gets two single crochets. Okay, so it's a little bit of an increase. So we want our basket to get bigger, right? So here's two single crochets. Very good. Next gets one single crochet. And then the next one, two single crochets, okay? One and two, okay. The next gets one. And then the next gets two. See how that's working? Okay, finish it all the way around. Okay, here I am, there we go. We're gonna move our marker, we're ready for the next one. Okay, so number four says we're going to do two single crochets in the next two stitches, and then two single crochets in the third stitch. So, we're gonna go into the first stitch, and we're gonna give it a single crochet. Then we're gonna go into the next stitch, and we're gonna give it a single crochet. Okay, and then we go into the next one, which is our third stitch, and we're gonna do two single crochets. So one and two, okay? So the next one is gonna get, now we repeat, one single crochet, the next one gets one single crochet, and the next one gets two single crochets. Okay, see that pattern? One and two, okay, very good. The next one will get one single crochet, 
and then the next one, one single crochet, and the next one, one single crochet, and two single crochet, okay? Keep going all the way around. Okay, this is my last one. We're gonna move our marker and we're done with rows one through four of our bike basket. We'll see you again next time.